Okay, step one is we are going to launch Unreal. I'm using 4.26. And I'm going to make a brand new project. Just choose blank. You can choose anything you want, I suppose, but I'm going to choose blank here just to keep things simple. I'm going to make it a blueprint project, no starter content, nothing special at all. Let's call it something meaningful though. In this case, I'm gonna call it um, Unreal JS Demo. Create the project. What you need to do actually is install the Unreal JS plugin to your system. I already have it installed, so if I go to plugins and type Unreal JS, it's there and all I have to do is enable it. But if you haven't installed it, you won't you won't have this here. Now, luckily it's free. So let me show you how you would get it if you didn't already have it. I'm on the Unreal Marketplace and I'm going to search here for unreal.js. Here's the one. It'll be free for you. It should say something like free. Go ahead and purchase it for free and, uh, and then download it and install it to your engine. Then when you have it installed inside of your Unreal project, you should be able to search for it, unreal.js. If you don't see it, you may have to restart, but if you do see it, press enabled and then restart now. Once it reboots, if you just want to double check that it worked, you can type unreal.js and you should see that it is now enabled. Now to see that it worked, we need to run some kind of JavaScript code. So let's try doing that. Notice it actually made a scripts directory for me right here. We'll use that in just a moment. But pick your favorite actor in the scene because we're just testing. It doesn't matter what actor it is. So I'll, I'll pick the floor. On the floor, we are going to add a component and type JavaScript. It should pop up right there. And the important part about this component on the floor is this JavaScript source file. This is what is going to run when we press play. I like to call it something meaningful like on start.js. That doesn't exist yet, but that's what would run if we ran it. Let's see what happens now because I believe even that should be enough to trigger some kind of expected error. And I always like to see that things are happening as expected as I'm going through a process like this. Let's press play and let's see what prints out. There we go. Warning, fail to read script file on start.js. So we know Unreal JS is installed. It's trying to do something. It just doesn't have on start.js. So now is where you would fire up, theoretically, your favorite JavaScript editor. Here it is. Let's just do something very simple. Let's do a console log, hello world, nothing else. Save that and just make sure you put it in the right spot. That's the main thing. So for me, I'm going to navigate to where I saved that Unreal JS demo. It's right there. Inside of content, there's the scripts directory I pointed out earlier. That's the important one. That's where all of your JavaScripts will go. And I'm gonna call this on start.js. Save it there. And now when I run in Unreal, we should see hello world. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. There it is. There it is. Hello world right there. So that's it. If you if you have gotten that far, that's really step one. Just getting the Unreal JS plugin installed. Getting it to print hello world.